Hey, this is Totu Bravo, and uh, we've got another update for our SIG P226R. What we are going to do is we are going to install the parts kit for the short reset trigger kit. So, I guess we can start off by seeing what's in the kits. So. Alright, so before we install the new safety bar and sear, in the uh, in the gun, what I want to do is take some measurements on what our reset is now, and then we'll compare it to once we have the SRT installed. So we will ensure that the firearm is clear. Looking for a reset right there. And that would put us at 0.23. So let's do it one more time. Look for a reset. Okay, we got 0 0.22 on that one, so 0 0.23 on the first one. So, granted, that's not very scientific, but it's the best that I can do. So, we got 0 0.22 and 0 0.23. So, next we, next we will move the slide. So, we got the slide off. And after that, we're going to have to remove the grip. So, let's get these grips off. Grips are off, not too bad. That tool definitely comes into, into use there. Decock the hammer. And then all of our business is going to be with that pin right there. Alright, first step. Let's push this pin out and see what happens. Okay, so here's our pin. We will set that there. And next, I guess I need to take our parts out that we're going to replace. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and take this spring and take the spring pressure off. There you go. And all you do is and all you do is remove that spring from under that little bar right there. Next, all the parts should come out. And we're going to replace. Alright, so we've got our sear to the magnet. Alright, we've worked our sear up into where it needs to be. So now we just need to line up the holes and put our punch through there to hold everything in place. Okay, bear with me. This is a lot more difficult than I thought. Okay, so let's slide this in. All right, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Alright, so, I don't know how much of that caught on video, because now we have to put our hmm, well, we just complicated things a little bit. Let's 
So there's our spring assembly. So there we go. So now we got our spring assembly in. And all right, so everything's in now. So now we follow our punch with our pin. Intents and purposes, we should should be good. So let's go ahead and put the grips back on, and we will test it and see if we have a difference. We'll be right back. All right, so we've got everything in we need to get in. Everything looks like it's where it's supposed to be. I'll have to double triple check that. Of course, we really won't know until we get out to the range. So let's go ahead and put the slide back on. And we will go ahead and check some functions. Let's just pan out a hair here. So let's check the decocker. It looks like that functions. All right, double action and single action. All right, so. Let's go ahead and check our reset to see if we've made a visual difference. Holy mackerel, did we make a difference. So, let's go ahead and break out and measure our difference in our reset. So, fire, cycle, and let's see where we're at. Point twelve, point twelve five five. All right, so let's check that one more time. Here we go, and we are at eleven, eleven point two zero. Wow, it's amazing. What a difference. And that was my problem when I was shooting was I was wasn't giving this wasn't giving it enough time to do a total reset. So let's check it one more time. Eleven. So we cut it in half. Alright, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our trigger pull. It shouldn't have affected it, but let's just be on the safe side. And Let's check that. So here we go. Double action. 9.2. Enter the data. 8.3. Enter the data. And 8.12. Enter the data for our trigger pull average of 8.11. Try single action. Three pounds even. Two pounds three. I don't know if I screwed that one up. Let's check one more time. Three point two, and we will do one more. Two six. All right. For an average of two pounds ten ounces. So we are seeing a little bit of a difference. I don't know that the 
SRT kit could make a difference. Perhaps it can because we did change some dynamics up in here. So I don't know. We'll have to look and see. We really won't know until we get out to the range and shoot it. And uh, that is a light trigger pull on the single action. Boy, look at that reset. That reset. Is amazing. All right, this is Totu Bravo, and this was my short reset trigger kit installation and functions check. So we did have some different numbers come up uh, as we wrap up here. It looks like our double action trigger pull weight is a little different. Our single action trigger pull weight is a little different, and we'll validate those again. And uh, our trigger reset is definitely uh, much shorter. And that's something that uh, that I've had trouble with a couple times at the range, not letting the trigger fully reset. I don't think that'll be an issue anymore. So this is Toe 2 Bravo, and uh, I'm extremely excited to get this out to the range and put it to use. So uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, until I see you out at the range again.